So you have a HELOC and a balance that you're paying off on it, and you're wondering what is the best way to pay off this HELOC? And I get it, you're trying to minimize the interest costs as well as cut down the amount of time you're paying it off. But did you know that there's actually a feature that's built into most HELOCs that I frankly think that most people aren't using that could help them pay off their HELOC faster, but also save interest along the way. So in this video, I'm gonna share with you a method of paying off your HELOC faster that I think honestly doesn't take a whole lot of effort to do. And it's a simple switch in your HELOC that you can make to help you save time and money. Hey everybody, my name is Sam Kwok, one half of the Kwok Brothers. We're a financial services and coaching company, and we've been helping American families find financial peace of mind and confidence since 2015. And with that out of the way, I'm gonna show you what I believe to be is the best way to pay down your HELOC, costing you the least amount of interest and time along the way. Now, before I get deeper into the graph, we all understand that HELOCs are something called open-ended credit, also known as revolving credit. Now, what that means is that you can borrow from your HELOC, pay it back, and borrow again at least the principal portion that you're paying back. So your HELOC operates just like a credit card, although there are some major differences between your credit card and your HELOC. Now the HELOC being an open-ended or revolving credit, I believe that is the feature that most people are underutilizing to its maximum potential. And here's what I mean. Now take a look at this chart now in this graph. This represents a given month and how interest is calculated on your HELOC. Now the interest is calculated at a daily level, meaning each day, whatever the balance is on your line of credit is what the interest is going to be. So here in this illustration, in this example, we're assuming that we have a $10,000 balance on your HELOC at a 6% or potentially for you might be higher. Regardless of the interest rate and the balance, the method will still work. Now what you're seeing is that in the beginning of the month, we start with a $10,000 balance accruing 6% interest. Now to calculate the daily interest on this, we need to take the 6% interest rate divided by 365, which are the days in the year, times the balance of that specific day. So what does that mean? Well, your daily interest or the interest that you pay each day is sensitive to what the balance is on that particular day. So as you can see, we have $10,000 balance every single day on the first week, the second week, all the way to pretty much around that 15th day of the month where we're depicting a $1,000 principal payment against the $10,000 balance. Therefore, the balance goes from 10,000 to $9,000 starting on this day. So you can see by the balance changing to from 10,000 to 9,000, our daily interest cost also goes down from $1.64 to $1.47. Do you see that? So each day moving forward, because the balance is lower, the interest is calculated to $1.47 each day. Now, if we combine all the interest costs across the month, or all 30 days, we're getting about $46.48 of total interest. So in the beginning of the month, we had $10,000 starting balance. By the end of the month, we're at $9,000 ending balance. So the net result is that we pay down $1,000 on the HELOC, costing us $46.48 of total interest. Now, this is all fine and dandy, but I still believe that this is not the best way to pay down the HELOC. Now, let me give you a second illustration where I believe it represents a better way of paying down your HELOC. Okay, so I have a new illustration pulled up, a little bit different, and you'll notice right out of the gate, $10,000, so same exact balance starting out, same interest rate, and the ending balance is exactly the same. But take a look at this we are only paying $26.55 of total interest. Well, how is that the case? Well, what I'm depicting here is that because the HELOC is revolving open-ended credit, let's take advantage of that. Well, what does that mean? Well, what does it look like to take our entire income, our entire monthly paycheck, and make a deposit on your HELOC principal balance at the very beginning part of the month? Now, this is just an illustration to show you an ideal scenario. It may look different because I know most of you get paid bi-weekly, that's fine, but let's just say, for the illustration's sake, we're gonna take $5,000 of our monthly paycheck and make a deposit into the HELOC balance, therefore lowering the daily balance on the HELOC. So what we've done is $10,000 balance, paid $5,000 of principal balance, so we reduced it down to now $5,000 of balance in the line of credit, therefore, we're only paying 82 cents in terms of our daily interest moving forward. So as you can see, throughout the rest of the month, we're paying 82 cents as long as we keep the balance at $5,000. Now the question is, well, Sam, if we just put $5,000 into the line of credit, well, how do we get that money back out for expenses, gas, food, groceries, eating out? How does that work? Well, what I wanna represent or demonstrate here is that 
towards the end of the month, we're gonna make that $4,000 draw that we need for expenses, gas, food, groceries, you name it. And what we've done is we further delayed draws coming out of the line of credit so that we can preserve as much of the low interest cost as possible. Now, you might also be saying, well, Sam, this isn't feasible. This is not realistic because how in the world are we gonna wait until the end of the month to pay for all of our expenses? Now, one of the things that you can do is by utilizing a credit card. Now, I know credit cards for some of you might be the enemy. I get it but it's about how we use these tools. So what if, let's say, we took a credit card that we wanna use and used it towards expenses, groceries, gas, food, everything that we need on a daily level, but we know that credit cards don't accrue interest until the next billing cycle, or at least past the next billing cycle. So basically, we're getting interest-free on our purchases for at least 30 to 45 days until the next billing cycle, so let's take advantage of that as well. So throughout the month, we're gonna use credit cards for pretty much everything that we can that can be used by the credit card and by the end of the statement billing cycle then we paid off completely therefore we don't owe any interest on the credit card but now we're essentially letting the HELOC carry that balance of four thousand dollars and therefore increasing the daily cost of our interest for a short while until we do this again by depositing another paycheck into the HELOC now again some of you might be looking at this and saying Sam, the net result was the same. We started at 10,000, 9,000. All we've done is put all of our income and took all the expenses out. What's the difference? Well, look at what that does to the daily interest. Although the cash flow and the net savings is the same, what we've done is we've decreased the overall average daily balance on the HELOC. Therefore, we got a massive savings, almost 50% of the interest costs that we would have to pay on the HELOC. And to me, what that means is that I can take the interest that I didn't have to pay and further attack the principal balance. That will virtually compound over time and allow me to pay off the HELOC faster and reduce the cost of my interest with the HELOC. In other words, some describe this process as basically using your HELOC almost like a checking account. Now, I'm not saying your HELOC is a checking account, but what if we just changed our perspective on how we look at these tools as opposed to just debt, why leave your money in your checking account where it's virtually paying us 0%. Instead, we store our money into a vehicle like this, a HELOC, lowers the average daily balance, less cost in the interest, and it still allows us to take the money out whenever we need to for expenses, gas, food, and emergencies. Now, I also hear this all the time. Some people might be saying, well, Sam, what if the HELOC shuts down or what if the bank uh, discontinues my HELOC, et cetera? Now, this was true pre-2012, before Dodd-Frank Act. After Dodd-Frank Act, which is a rule regulation passed on the banks, banks now have to give you 60 days of written notice to either shut down or freeze your HELOC. Well, what does that mean? Well, it gives you ample time to prepare if that were to happen, so then you could either revert back to the way that you've been doing it, or you could go and simply get another HELOC, because HELOCs are non-QM, non-qualifying mortgages. It's just a fancy term for saying if one bank shuts you down, it doesn't necessarily mean that another bank will shut you down either. Having said that, I believe that to be is the best way to pay down your HELOC. Now, is this for everybody? Absolutely not. It does require that you have positive cash flow, that you're not overdrawing on the HELOC. That is also important. So if you don't have the fundamental or foundational uh, financial basics down, down, as in having budgets and cash flow, then this method might not be the best fit for you. Now, picture this. You can also do this for your other debt as well. If you have student loans, furniture loans, auto loans, think about ways of also using this to paying down other loans as well. And one of the things that I see a lot of my own clients use this for is to pay off their mortgage faster. So if you are interested in learning how to pay off your mortgage faster, using this very same mathematical banking strategy, I have a video down below in the comment section where you can learn more about paying off your mortgage in as early as five to seven years. So definitely go check that out. It could potentially help you save a ton of interest. So definitely go check that out as well. If you got an aha moment, if you thought this video is valuable, if you learned something new today, share your thoughts down below as well and share this with your friends. Love to help as many people as possible when it comes to their financial goals and financial dreams. With that being said, if you enjoyed it, give us a thumbs up, subscribe, and we'll see you in the next video. Take care.